Amalia or Oli? Thank you so much for your question. I've been in the Philippines ever since 2015 with the agency Emergency Manila as a model. But recently, after finishing up in Miss Cosmo World, I was so impatient on coming back to the Philippines because the last last time I've been here, it's it was 2020 and the pandemic. And ever since then, I haven't been here. And you know, I followed my heart. I got back here just like very last minute. I wrote to my agency. I was saying, hey, can I come back here, please? I want to go back here. I miss Manila. Mm -hmm. So when I returned here as a model, uh, I was already here when the last, very last moment that, you know, it happened for me to be a Miss Grand Uzbekistan with the help of Melinda, my Filipino team. So why not to be here? Because Philippines, known as one of the best countries to provide trainings, to train the queens, queen makers, Philippines is one of the best countries for it. Queen makers. Yes, um, do you think uh, you can make a difference when you get there in Vietnam for the Miss Grand International 2023? Yes, of course, because I have no matter where the girl trains or no matter who trains the girl, it's still up to us, our personality, and how we deliver our performance. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you and best of luck to you, Miss Amalia. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Jessel from Sasha's End Scripts. Uh, hi, Mia. Hello. Uh, just uh, before I ask my, uh, my, my question, can uh, we get more details about your age, height, uh, vital statistics, and what, uh, whatever you want to, uh, to share with us? With your Mine are those. <laughs> Um, thank you so much. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm 5'9 tall. Uh, if you don't mind, I can say it in centimeters. Okay, we don't mind. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my first area is <laughs> 73 centimeters. My waistline is 63, if I remember correctly. And my hips area would be 90, 91. Okay, um, I asked... My shoe size is 38. <laughs> <laughs> I asked this because uh, Miss Grand is a very physical kind of, you know, uh, uh, competition. So um, I want to know if, uh, uh, what are your preparations in terms of the physical aspect as well as the uh, presentation aspect for the competition? Uh, I will go to the gym very soon. <laughs> I'm not a very sporty person, to be honest, but I believe that I would need some toning ups on my body. So I'll work on that part. But besides that, of course, uh, not only because of the pageantry, because the modeling industry, I've been always trying to maintain my body, but I'm very lucky when it comes to my genetic because my family members, especially my dad, yeah. he's very skinny, so I'm lucky to Inheritage my dad's genetics. And um, for my second question, um, can you introduce Uzbekistan more to us? Because we're not very uh, much aware about the culture, about uh, the the country, uh, so that we have like an understanding of where you uh, where you came from. Sure, of course, I would love to. It's my country is Uzbekistan. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, our people are very humble, very hardworking, very warm. We are a little bit like Filipinos. So if you go there, the cultures would be pretty much alike. Although we speak two languages, which is Uzbek, which more towards Turkish, 
the soundings, the grammar, and Russian. Like here you speak Tagalog and English, we speak Uzbek and Russian. We were part of USSR before, and on the September 1, 1991, we became independent by our first president, Islam Karimov. We have four seasons, so we have, like, unlike here, it's always summer or rains. We have four seasons, and in each the season, three months. So, three months of each season. My favorite would be summer. That is one of the whys I'm here in the Philippines, because it's tropical, it's sunny. Uh, I love our food. I wish I would be eating it right now, but sorry, I'm here. I have to talk to you. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> we have a lot of food. Our food is a mixture of a lot of differences. Like, you know, Asian, we have Russian, we have Ukrainians. My favorite, of course, would be more towards Asia, which is uh, rice dishes. We have plov. That's our main, main famous dish. Plov is a mixture of rice, vegetables, meat, oh my god. Botomako. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have samosa, but we call it samsa, which made out uh, of the pastry. And then inside we have pumpkin, we have either pumpkin, either potatoes or meat. We have different nationalities in my country. The main would be Uzbeks, then Kazakh, we have Russians, Ukrainians, Koreans even, our own Koreans which were migrated a long ago because of the war, but now they are our local Koreans. Some of them can't even speak Korean, but they can speak Uzbek and Russian. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope I didn't bore you all. Up next, we have Christian from the Crown Philippines. And a reminder to our media, okay. Okay. you can also address your questions to our national director, Miss Ollie, as well as Sylvia. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm no, I'm Christian from the Grand Philippines. Um, my question for now is for Amalia. Um, so the Philippines do not only have the best trainers, agent trainers in the world, but we also have the best creatives and designers. So my question is, will you also be um, incorporating any of the Filipino designs or wearing any Filipino designers uh, in the pageant? Thank you so much for your question. Yes, I would be cooperating with creative I, uh, creatives here in the Philippines. I absolutely agree with you. You guys have a lot of talented people, not just the beauty queen makers, you also have a lot of good photographers. My friends are here as well, Rob Leong and Jumigo, who is a video maker as well. Um, you have a lot, a lot of talented people, as well as in singing, designers, so yes, answering your question, I would be uh, um, making my gowns, making my OTDs with uh, Filipino makers, designers, and by the way, I have a stylist, Patrick, Sir Patrick, <laughs> he's also Filipino, he'll be the one signing me. Thank you so much. My question. Thank you, appreciate it. And up next, we have Jay Barbo of Pageant Trend. Please ask your question to either Mia or Ali. Hello, I'm Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jay from Pageant Trend. And my first question is uh, for Lia. Aliyah. Aliyah, um, how is it like uh, the people in Uzbekistan? Sorry, could you. How is it like. Uh, uh, the people in uh, Uzbekistan, in your country. You mean how are we? What? Yeah. Sorry, I don't really understand the question. Yes. I'm sorry. Like uh, here in the Philippines, we are hospitable when it comes to um, uh, 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 entertaining the visitors. Uh, 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 Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry once again. 
Our people are unlike Filipinos, as I, as I mentioned before. I think our cultures and our hearts are kind of alike. So it's, that's why it's very easier, it's easier for me to adapt in here. Every time uh, we have foreigners or someone who is lost, like here in the Philippines, you would go and help. You will try to help and do your best. It's, this, it's pretty much similar what's happening here. It's in my country when it comes to people. We are very hospital. If you go home, if you go to the houses of your friends or even random people, they will welcome you with a long table with lots of food. They will make make sure that you won't leave the house with your stomach empty, and they will make sure that you know. Sometimes you have to like not even being left with an empty stomach, but you will feel like very very full that you want to sleep already. So yeah, we're very warm, we're very welcoming. Perhaps I would like if my Filipino friends can make and come, make it and come to my country one day. So you as well, please come and visit us. <laughs> no, don't charot, don't charot, come and visit us. No jokes. Thank you so much, Thank you. And I have a question for the National Director. Can you please tell us what's the major reason why did you choose Alia as the representative for Mr. Game Stack for the upcoming Miss Grand International? I mean, look at her. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Thank you. And that's just on the surface. Inside is another warm, kind human being. <laughs> So just based on looks of both. Yes, no need to say anything. Thank you. Thank you so much and best of luck and congratulations mm. in advance. Thank you and no charot come and visit, huh? Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jay. Next we have Pao Camiano from TikTok. Hello. Thank you so much for your question. I won't lie or sugarcoat here. Uh, it's quite tense. Intense, sorry, yeah. It's quite intense because the you know, I'm not very experienced in the pageantry. There are a lot of uh, timelines which have to be matched and you know, when you're not too experienced and you haven't been trained so well beforehand, it's quite challenging, but I love challenges and knowingly that I have my team behind me, they got full support, they got all what I need, all the preparation part, technical part, and as well I have my national director besides me, all the way from Singapore 24-7, keeping in touch. I have my family, I have my friends, so I'm sure it can be done as long as I work hard on it. Thank you. And also, can you please give us a sample of your introduction in a grand way? I am Miss Grand Uz Becky Stan! Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much, Pao. Next up, we have Miss Katrina Eugenio from Morse Friends. Hello. 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 Um, my question will be for the national director. So, my question is. You are a Singaporean and your candidate is from Uzbekistan. Yes. And you are here in the Philippines. So, could you tell us the story about it? Well, I, as I mentioned in my speech earlier, I've known Amalia for eight, eight years, and she used to be a model in a company, a modeling agency that I own in Singapore. And I've always seen her passion and her drive. In, in tenacity in this this business. So when she told me about this, she said, do you think I should? I said, you should, of course you should. Look at Miss Cosmo, you went there with no team and you finished up first run up. So she, uh, she told me about Miss Grand International. I said, you go for it, let's go for it. I'll back you as a friend, I believe in you and I think you can do it. So as long as, you know, she's sure and she's, you, you, she looks ahead and aim, she will get it. I believe that much in her. That's why I didn't even sign her. 
just based on friendship alone. Amalia, I believe in you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a bond that's so rare in pageantry and we can really see how warm you are towards each other. And on that note, we would also like to call on Ms. Edge Tenoria of Pageantology 101. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Miss Ali. I'm so sure. You're uh, 2014, uh, one of the kind of contestants during Singaporean Idol. No, 2004. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, wish, I wish 2004. I wish 2004. Hi, Amani, you're so Hello beautiful. Hello, Paul. Oh my god. Hello. 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 Anyway, I learned that in your country, the only car brand is Chevrolet. Can you tell us more about it? It's not that, thank you for your question, it's a very good observation, but we, we do have other cars as well. It's just that the main one would be Chevrolet, as you mentioned, because we are in a close contact with the company. So we do provide the, I mean, we produce the cars. And our government would like us to support local productions. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry. I'm incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, who's your favorite Miss Grand International winner? I believe that the current Miss Grand International, Isabella Menin, is very capotega and she's very like sexy. She has the presence, she has the height. I also like Samantha, even though she did not make it to the international ground, but she would still be... Samantha Bernardo. Yes, of course, both. 20... Uh, 20. 20, 20, 20, 20. 21st runner-up in the Philippines. So yes. Thank you so much. And last question. Uh, can you give us three fun facts or interesting, interesting facts about you? I am very Makulit. <laughs> what, English? <laughs> <laughs> it's very noisy, very yeah, loud. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Best, best. Yeah, correct. Right. 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 Uh, next would be another one. <laughs> Na, uh, number two would be I'm very driven. I'm compassion of what I'm doing. Oh my God. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be, I could not be serious when I come for you. <laughs> Another fun fact. Interesting fun fact. Interesting one. Interesting. Mm. Everything is interesting Sword. about me. Ganorn. <laughs> 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 I'm very makulit, you know, that's like number one, two, three, I can cover that all. <laughs> uh, how's your love life? Uh, Someone special? I love everything and everyone. I love everything I do. Ah, uh, Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you so much. I am very interested in your country. Please do come. Yeah. I would personally like to show you around. Do you have to provide visa from the Philippines to Uzbekistan? Yes. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, we have Anna from Lee. One question. Lee from Lee, right over here. Thank you. Hello. 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 My name is Adam from A. Adam G. Hi. Question for each one of you to the national director first. Uh, you said earlier to the national Miss Molita. Yes. Yes. You said earlier that uh, you are some sort of a hyperbole celebrity because you joined Singa Singapore. I Singapore Idol, Idol. like American yes. Idol. From from music to how did your interest begin? From from <laughs> <laughs> the world of music to pageant. To pageantry? Yes. Well, um, I was a singer first, right? 
Then after that, I had an artist management agency and a modeling agency. So from there, that's how I met Mia as a friend. And then we, we built on the friendship for so many years, even though she's buying back and forth. Sometimes she comes to Singapore, she's not even in my agency, but we still hang out because we still have friendship there. It's not always just about business. So you're acting yeah. as her mentor, her, her mentor? I never sign her, I'm just a old, old, older friend in life that sometimes I go to her for advice when it comes to the younger people and sometimes she comes to me for advice. May I answer your question? Yes. I will share the very honest story. So I was here in Manila for my modeling contract and uh, in a while I was like, I want to join another pageant. I got this passion and to be honest, in my country we don't have pageants, like there are no franchises. We're just starting up with uh, Face of Asia, if I'm not mistaken, that is owner is from Korea, it's a Korean pageant but it's more towards modeling. And of course, Miss Gran is uh, the one who is, I believe, more suitable for my personality. So I was here in Manila and I was like, I want to join another pageant. I so want to do it. And at my age, it's not much time left. If it's not now, when? Yeah, like the one of the beauty queens say. So I was sitting and I was thinking about it and then in the same time because we still keep in touch with Olinda although I'm not her model anymore and I was talking to her and I was sharing with her, you know, Oli, what do you think about it? She's like, why not? And I was saying like, okay, but like how do I do that? Like because there is no franchise, so how does it would work for me? Then we, uh, Alinga was going to Thailand and I was like, shall we just like, you know, contact organization ourselves, shall we meet up with them? So that's how it happened, like we went, she was going to Thailand, I went there, and then we approached the organization, they gave the licensee and I got appointed. Because in many pageants, you have to win in your country first, so that's the challenging part. Can I like, say something? Like for me, I always believe that if there's a will, there's a way. And I believe in supporting the underdog. I was the underdog once. So if I can, I will pass it on. So Leah, please pay it forward when you win, okay? Not if, when you win. You win. Thank you. Another question for Miss Amadia. Now that I'm glad that you mentioned that you're going to Miss Grand International, how do you plan to stand out in a sea of fears, you know, fears, Latinas, and gorgeous girls around the world. Because let's face it, especially in Instagram, when you talk about Instagram International, it's all about being extra on stage. So, how do you plan, how are you making your strategy as early as now for your upcoming competition? With my personality, with my appearance, I can get notice first, that's my plan, and later on I can move on on working hard to improve every aspect which I have to work on, I'm already starting that ever since yesterday, and of course I know what you mean by saying Latinas, let's face it, but I have a little bit of both, I can pass as Latina, I can be an Asian, so to me it's a privilege. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam. And I'm now calling on Drew Francisco for your question. Malia Style. Malia Style. Malia. 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 So my question is for you, Amelia. So you mentioned earlier that you've been to a lot of Asian countries, but not Vietnam. So what are you most excited about going to Vietnam and competing in this country? Firstly, I'm excited to meet the whole Miss Grand family and getting to know each and every one, all the contestants. About Vietnam, I've been trying all their food, their poor soaps. <laughs> I love to eat. 
I've been trying Koso here in the Philippines, in other Asian countries as well, and I'm looking forward to try aesthetic Koso, as well as the coffee, coconut coffee, egg coffee. I heard that's good and famous in Vietnam. They have a lot of beautiful celebrations. Unfortunately, in this timeline, I won't happen to meet the same lines, but they have beautiful festival, lunar, ca lunar calendar festival, they have beautiful Christmas, sorry, New Year's Eve as well. And of course, I would like to see the memorials, all the famous architecture. I've heard they have a um, museum of the war. So that's the one I would like to visit because it's also part of the campaign of Miss Grand, Stop the War and Violence. So that would be actually helpful for me to get more knowledge regarding the Vietnamese war because that's the museum. Also, they have a beautiful clear water and not very, uh, I don't really remember how the place is called but they are famous for the beautiful and clear water. It's a beautiful nature uh, city in Vietnam. I would love to go there, but of course, if when I win this grant, I will be giving interviews, so perhaps next time, next visit to Vietnam. There's always a next time. And another question. Ms. Grant is known for very fabulous uh, preliminary and grand show. So if you could pick only one, Swimsuit or evening cap? Which I would pick? Just one. I would wear a very sexy evening gown and underneath I would put a swimsuit. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Love it. Love it. Thank you very much. And now calling on Ayel from For the Philippines for your question. Mabuhay! Welcome to Misra, Uzbekistan. So I'm Will from Port of Philippines. Uh, my question is, aside from being a goddess, what else can you offer to Miss Grand International organization that will make you a top contender? Thank you so much for your question. I can o I can offer me, full me, my personality, my compassion, me working hard, me being ambitious, and trying to grow each moment and each day. Okay, uh, follow-up question. So you mentioned earlier that your team is from the Philippines, and aside from Sir Patrick, can you mention some names that will help you through your journey for this guy? Of course. I can mention, but I would like to keep a little bit of a secret for the future. I like to surprise. I have uh, my national director, which is Singaporean on the dam. I have my beautiful makeup artist, Miss Chrissy, my hairstylist, Jay, my France, my road manager. Oh, 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 oh. Mama, Mama France. Mama France. Mama France. Where's my Mama France? Where's my Mama road manager? Oh. I have Tita Lavinia. I'm sure she doesn't need an introduction. And the rest of the team, I would like to keep it as a secret. Okay. But I have my agency who are also helping me out. Miss May, Sir Clyde, I have Jumigo, my videographer, Rob Leong, photographer, and I have Roj Miguel as well in my team. Thank you so much. Okay, to Amadea's team, thank you so much. Oh. Oh. Hello, Amalia. Hello, Miss Drew. I am Benjamin from Sash Factor International. My question is for Amalia. How pageants are popular to your country? 
<laughs> Thank you for your question. Uh, we do not have franchises for pageants. It's just we starting up now. We have Face of Asia, just very recent. I, I, if I'm not wrong, it was from 2021. Yeah, Face of Asia, and hopefully in the future we will have more and more. Perhaps Miss Grant, maybe, hopefully, not maybe, I'll be opening doors to other girls from my country. What's your guess? Oh, yes. thank you. I love you. Let's keep it this way. <laughs> and for the national director, let me ask you this question. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry. My question is: This is the first time the debut for Miss Uzbekistan, Miss Trans Uzbekistan. Are you going to um, continuously renew the franchise for Uzbekistan, or are you? Um, do you think you can? You know, you can acquire another franchise from other pageants. I think, to be very honest with you, this was a passion project. But through this passion project, I've made so many connections with good, good friends here that initially started out as work, but we ended up like family. It's. I think it would be quite irresistible. I, I, I might do it again. <laughs> I have that feeling. And got nerds. Yeah. Yes. Um. Thank you for answering my question. I hope the best for both of you, for Amalia, for you know your pageant, and I hope to have or see a photo of you with the Philippine representative. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, thank you so much to all of the questions. Before we continue, I would like to remind everyone, especially our media partners, to always tag Amelia's accounts and Miss Grant as well. Whenever you post on social media, let's get that caption. And of course, let's support our Miss Grant with Subscribe, tag, hashtag. Yes, everything. Give the notification everything. bell. Them. <laughs> everything. Everything. Let's do everything for Amalia. All right, up next we have John Ray of Theatre Hall. <laughs> I love the vibe. Thank you, guys. Hi, my question is for the national director. Hello. Um, you you came from the um music, the arts, yeah. and modeling agency. Um, is it difficult now that you're taking the pageant dream path? Um, it's challenging. But I'm not afraid because I have Team Manila behind me. I'm not afraid to fall. I know they will catch me. And I know that we are run, running in front, fronting this. We're going to be okay. Um, a follow up question. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans of continuously sending uh, delegates from Uzbekistan? Um, it might be something that I would consider, definitely, because this this journey has actually forged a lot of good friendships along the way, and we have built a strong team here that I feel that can this business model can be replicated. But obviously, this one isn't business because I didn't sign up. But the next time around, yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you, Mary. There's so many opportunities in Philippines, so Philippines, wait for me. I'll be back. Wow. <laughs> You heard it here first from Ollie. All right, up next, Entertainment News Portal, we have Arvin. Uh, uh, my first question is for you, Amalea. So, uh, why did you choose Miss Man over other pageants? Thank you for your question. As I mentioned earlier, we don't have many choice back in my country in terms of the franchises. So when it comes to choosing the pageant, it has to be both ways. You cannot be just the one choosing. So Miss Grant is the one who also provides the franchisee as being appointed. And besides that, 
You know me. I mentioned that so many times I'm so makolin. <laughs> I think that's what the Miss Grand is looking for. I like to dance, I like to sing, I like to be makolin, I like to perform. So that's perfect for my personality. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then my next question is, um, have you talked to Meiji? And then um, how, I mean, what's her reaction when you are joining the war for Miss Grand? Thank you so much again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, on the day when I arrived to the Philippines, back to the Philippines, it was quite a few months ago, uh, Meiji was very busy in terms of the preparation for the Miss Cosmo World Philippines. And it just so happened that our, unfortunately, our schedules doesn't match, but I'm so looking forward to catch up with her. And I think that would be amazing for me as well in terms of getting her knowledge, you know, getting her advices, because I've heard how uh, long she's been in pageantry and how experienced she is and how good she is. So I would love to catch up with her very soon, but of course I have to also maintain the schedule that, you know, due limits for the Miss Grand is just one month left. I hope to meet her soon, answering your question. And last question, what do you do for fun? Get school, get What do I do for fun? I like dancing, I like singing, I like traveling around, I like water activities such as scuba diving, uh, jet skiing, I like, you know, watching movies when I just want to stay in the house, stay in bed, I like watching movies, I like to watch not just like drama movies, I like something which can be educational as well. I love traveling because for me, traveling is something that opens your perspective, makes you grow and get to know other things which you haven't knew before. And it's different when it comes to just looking at it through the phone or TV, unless seen with your own eyes. Thank you. And then for our national director, um, you should just uh, like a fun question. Um, so, so you share as your skincare. care. My skin is very gorgeous. Oh well, um, joke, joke. I'm 43. I only drink water. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't drink alcohol. I Yeah. So I, I do I do have a daily routine of vitamin C, a lot of hyaluronic acid, um, moisturize, 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 and sunblock. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you so much. We'll take note of that, Miss Ollie. And now let's keep the ball rolling. Enjoy our guild. Of <laughs> Hello. Hello, Paul. When you win the crown for Miss Grand, what would you want to do with your platform and your I would like to impact as much as I can the, the younger generation to be more knowledgeable regarding the climate changes because I'm being an advocate to Ocean Hero Conservation, which is under UNDP project in Malaysia, but hopefully it will go further and further because we have to take care of our earth, our home. We have to clean up the mess. You know, it's sad when I see a lot of garbage thrown around, so I would like to advocate for that, for us humans to be more responsible when it comes to damages. I would like to help orphans, which I already do, because I believe that everyone deserves love and support, and they have to learn how to survive in the long run. And of course, working with the Miss Grand Platform, we have to work towards peaceful and harmonious world. 
Thank you. Yes, I have done a few commercials here before. There would be Celetec Demo, San Miglai, Situ, Celetec, Situ, Smart, Telecom. I have done. I have done Nescafe, Peach Care. To get the the I would love to. I would love to. I just have to improve my Tagalog. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Joy. Next up, we have Jen from Pageant Talk. Hello, good afternoon, Amalia. My question for you is. How will you promote Uzbekistan to an international stage? That's a very good question. Unfortunately, not many people know much about my country, and I would love people to know more about it by first going international stage, putting Uzbekistan in the grand map of pageantry. Thank you. Secondly, I would like to show through my social platforms more beautiful places, more culture, besides that appearance and TV and all the media wise, I would also like to promote in my part, in my end, by my social platforms. Because not many people know that also Samarkand is one of the cities in Uzbekistan is a part of road silk before, of silk road before, and now it's being under uh, UNESCO. It's a heritage place which is listed in the UNESCO. So I would like to promote those aspects in the world stage as well as my in my end in my social platforms. Thank you. So Thank you. Question is for the beautiful national director. Thank you. Are we expecting a national pageant for Miss Grand Uzbekistan next year? Next year? Yeah, definitely. I told you the team Manila is so strong. I mean, I'm not just thinking of Uzbekistan. There could be any 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 candidate as long as the team is right. We can get it done. Right, guys? And if I may continue the answer, I would like and I would love to see another candidate from my country in more and more pageants. And I hope that me being as a first Miss Grand Uzbekistan, it won't just be the last. You are making history, Amalia. You are paving the way for the rest of them to come. But in. besides that, I would like to see other candidates as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be first and the last, I want to see more girls because we have so many beautiful girls as well as here in the Philippines. And I want the world to know our, beautif our beauty. I want everyone to see that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. And next up we have Ferdy Avilon from Eventology. We're ready for your question. Hi. Uh, I don't have any question. I'm just so happy to connect you with the best people in Manila. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See what happens when friendship happens, a connection, a connection, a connection, a connection. And here we are today. So two friendship. Thank you. for paving the way for Miss Grand Uzbekistan. And now last, but definitely not the least, we are calling on Tita Lavinia from Tita's of Pageantry. Laban. Hola. Kamusta? Kamusta? Hola. Hello. Hello, I am Tita Lavinia of Tita's of Pageantry. My first question is for Oli. Oli, uh, you're used to having like a team. You're used to picking your people. 
But what has been the most challenging thing in bringing your team and looking for your team in a totally different country? Well, that's a good question. A lot of it is based on trust and also the vibes. Yeah, and the thing is, I like to work in Ferrari mode. So every time I tell them, Ferrari mode, yeah, not Toyota. And they're like, yeah, we got it. So when they get that, that pace, yeah, then we can, we, we can work together. My next question is for Leah, of course. Um, I think versions of this I've asked of you in the past. And my question is, you will be competing with the mighty Latinas. You will be competing with Aniki Dimora, someone that we will be sending who's super young, someone who's super spunky, someone that we put our trust and faith in because we have not won Miss Grand. But we are here supporting you. Of course, we just want to know how dedicated you are in making sure that it's not just a representation for Uzbekistan, but this is actually a bid for the crown at Miss Grand International. No matter how amazing your competitors are from the Latin countries and even in your Asian counterparts, how dedicated are you in this? I am ready to face all the challenges I have to be facing, and I'm facing it already, as I mentioned earlier. I'm ready to work on my disadvantages to make it into my advantages. And I believe that uh, each flower doesn't have to compare to another flower, because we have our own time, our own advantages. Just have to work harder. Wow. Last question. Uh, you're very savvy on social media. We're checking on all your activities. You seem to um, get like a groove on how it is to campaign on social media. Have you checked your competitors? And can you please give us some names of maybe countries that you're watching out for? I won't lie. <laughs> Uh, I did uh, make some research, not like I wouldn't really, you know, focus, focus, but of course I did check out pages of the girls, especially from Miss Grant International main page, I would go see, click on the, you know, tags, I would go to profiles. So far I am friends, like we follow each other with few candidates. Like Miss uh, Vietnam, we have uh, friendship with Miss Czech Republic, and I think each of the girls are really beautiful. It's not just me, but of course it has to be a full package, and that's when everyone will know during the pageant itself. When are you leaving, and are you excited? Last night. I am very excited and I'm very honored, I'm very thankful and I'm looking forward to the Miss Grand International stage and meeting everybody, everyone. I'm leaving on October 4 from Manila, so I'm going directly from here to Vietnam. Thank you and that's a lovely time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, that has been it. For our media partners, thank you very much for taking the time and asking some fun and even daring questions to our dear Leah. But of course, I'm not the only one who has anyone to thank today. Leah, this is your moment to thank everyone who has helped you come here today. Thank you so much for once again, thank you so much everyone, Maraming and Salamat Lahat for coming here and making this grand event. And thank you so much, Miss Grand International, my Filipino team, my uh, friends from all over the world, and last but not least, Olinda Cho, my national director slash very good friend. And now, we have some surprise. Oh. Oh.